हरे कृष्णा क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम रंजित नायर प्रभु कैन वी अंडरस्टैंड द लॉर्ड्स ट्रांसजेंडेंटल बॉडी इन आवर प्रेजेंट स्टेज व्हेन वी से दैट दिस बॉडी इज सचित आनंद व्हाट डज दैट मीन एंड इफ यू डिसेंस व्हेन यू डिसेंस टू दिस वर्ल्ड डज ही कम इन हिज सेल्फ सेम बॉडी इफ दैट इज सो देन हाउ डू वी अंडरस्टैंड हिज ग्रोइंग फ्रॉम अ चाइल्ड टू यूथ एंड हाउ डू वी अंडरस्टैंड हिज ब्लीडिंग when uh, he is in the kurukshetra war and for that matter uh, the osho upanishad says that he does not have any veins if he does not have any veins he doesn't have any organs also so how exactly is his body to be understood answer yeah the important point jiva goswami explains uh, about the achintyatva he says achintya inconceivable is what we should consider things where the scripture gives us two statements which are not within our finite human intelligence to reconcile so scripture says that god is all pervading and scripture also says that god has a form so now how these two are to be reconciled now he of course gives some explanations and prabhupad would give the example of sun and sunlight the all pervading brahman effulgence and the personal form of the lord so there are some examples by which things can be reconciled but at the same time how the normally the sun and the sunlight we say there there is a difference the sunlight can enter into our room the sun doesn't enter into our room mm, but krishna he is as it is said vadanti tattvaida sattvam yad gyanam advayam advayam the non difference uh, no duality so brahmeti paramatmeti bhagwan iti shabdyate so brahman parmatma bhagwan are the three conceptions of god which are non different from each other and when we look at these conceptions certainly it is not uh, it is not within the realm of conceivability for us to entirely understand this at the same time now yes so what do we mean by the body being satchit ananda that simply means that the spiritual body has characteristics which are opposite to matter now that rather than saying spiritual body spirit itself has characteristics which are opposite to matter now that spirit now how it is situated that can vary so there can be chinmay tatva chinmay tatva means that which is conscious so the satchitananda can be diffused all over as in the case of brahma jyoti or the satchitananda can be localized and manifesting in a form and that can be the form of the soul in the spiritual world and it is also the form of the supreme lord of course the lord has lord is omnipotent that's the difference major difference but the point is that yes we cannot conceive of a form of satchitananda because uh, because we think of form in terms of matter gross matter as we know it so that's why that is not conceivable but what we can stress on is that it is the opposite of matter that it is not perishable it is not ignorance inducing it is not misery causing and all of, uh, so all of spirit is like that but all of spirit is not necessarily omni omnipotent it is the it is the lord's form that is omnipotent now moving onwards how does uh, krishna manifest his past times if he comes in the same self same form yes he does the acharyas do explain that krishna comes in his same self same in his self same form from the spiritual world and that's why that form has remarkable potency to liberate those who for example die in the presence ya ave krishna mukharavinde uh, the lord krishna says that those arjuna says that uh, uddhava remembers in the third canto that those who saw krishna's netrai pibanti nayana bhirama that form of the lord which is like nectar for the eyes those who saw that form beheld that form at the time of death they attained the supreme abode bhishma also says the same thing so the form of the lord as manifested in this world has extraordinary potency and that potency include the potency of granting the supreme liberation now specifically about the how the lord manifests his form that is is by his internal potency prabhupad gives the example that for the lord matter and spirit are two aspects of the same energy just like if there is electricity it can be used for heating or for cooling so the elect the person who is in charge of the electricity can direct it in one way or direct it in another way and it can have two opposite effects so when the lord descends to this world he he uh, makes himself visible accessible to people in this world at the same time he doesn't become contaminated by matter 
he remains transcendental. How? That is his inconceivable potency. Pashyame Yogamaishwaram. Krishna, of course, is talking about different specific different things specifically over there in 9.5. But he is, in general, talking about his capacity to reconcile, uh, in, uh, reconcile contradictory seeming or paradoxical things in his own on his own form. So he says that in 9.4 and 5, Mats Mayatatamidam Sarvam Jagadavyakta Murti na Matsthani Sarva Bhutani na Chaham Teshwa Bastitaha na Chamatsthani Bhutani Pashame Yoga Maishwaram Bhuta Brin na Chabhuta Sto Mamatma Bhuta Bhavana. So Matsthani Sarva Bhutani is 9.4. All living beings are situated in me and Nachamatsthani Bhutani. All living beings are not situated in me. That is 9.5. So in this way there is a substantial difference between uh, the uh, various attributes of the Lord and yet those attributes are present in Him alone. Now coming to how He is able to grow, there is Tattva and there is Leela and by the potency of the Lord He subordinates Tattva to Leela. So although He is God, He is the source of everyone, still He becomes the son of someone. He becomes the son of Yashoda Maya and, and the Maharaj. So for the sake of Leela, sometimes the Tattva is subordinated and harmonized for the purpose of Leela. So, so same with respect to his being his being young and then his growing up. That is for the sake of reciprocating rasa with his devotees at different levels with different flavors. And uh, thus when he is a small baby, Vatsalya Ras becomes more. When he is, uh, it is said that his Kaumara Rupa is Vatsalya Rasa Ashraya. Then he is <coughs> Pauganda Roop when he is a child, at that time it is the Sakya, Sakya Rasa Ashraya. And then when he comes to the Yavvana Roop, that is the Madhurya, Madhurya Rasa Ashraya. So that means those particular ages, the Lord manifests the corresponding pastimes to the greatest intensity. Now, moving onwards, how does he get wounded? Apparently, as it's, Bhishma says that I shot arrows and the Lord's a forehead was adorned with sweat and blood. So how does that happen? That is also to enhance the Leela. Bhishma is in Virya Ras and to enhance the, uh, enhance the Rasa of uh, Virya, he manifests whatever is required for that. And that includes manifesting tears or manifesting sweat or manifesting blood. Whatever is required, the Lord manifests that. So uh, for the sake of Leela, the Lord can adjust the tattva according to what will maximize the intensification of the emotions in the Leela. So Krishna's growing or Krishna's manifesting uh, wounds or anything like that is a case of his Leela Shakti predominating and temporarily covering his tattva, his paratattva so that uh, the Leela can move forward with greater intensity. So in general, the we accept the principle of achintattva of the Lord but at the same time, within the framework of Achin Tattva, with the guidance of Acharyas, as per Shastra, we can try to understand and reconcile the various aspects of the Lord. Thank you. Hare Krishna.